The focus of this lesson is how to find revenue with the supply and demand curves we used in previous lessons. Well, revenue is calculated using a very simple equation. Revenue is equal to price times quantity, or revenue is equal to P times Q, which makes a lot of sense when you think about it, because it's pretty much saying that the money we make is equal to the price per good times how many goods we actually sell. Let's look at an example. This is the equilibrium point we found in a previous lesson, but let's go ahead and attach units to it instead of using PE and QE. So $5 for the equilibrium price and $10 for the equilibrium quantity. Using these two numbers, what is our revenue? Our revenue is that $5 times the 10 units we sold, which is equal to $50, which is represented on the graph here by this green square. Now, if you notice, revenue is pretty much an area equation for the area enclosed between price and quantity, with price being the height of this square or rectangle and quantity being the length. So if you're a mathy person, that's a good way to think about it. Now let's look at a different example. What if price is above equilibrium? Because we're not always going to be in equilibrium. So here we have price is equal to $7, quantity supplied is no matter quantity demanded is 5 units and quantity supplied is 15 units. Are we going to sell 15 units? All 15 that we're supplying? Pretty much is revenue going to equal 7 times 15? The answer is no. Just because we're supplying 15 goods doesn't mean we have to sell all of them. In fact, since consumers are only demanding five of those goods, our revenue is actually $7 times the five goods we actually sell, which is equal to $35, which makes sense because we're not going to sell more goods than the consumers demand, even though we have more of them on the shelves. Now let's look at an example when we are below equilibrium quantity. So the price is $3, quantity supplied is 5, and quantity demanded is 15. Now, since consumers are demanding 15 units, our revenue is going to be $45, correct? Wrong. Even though, in this case, consumers are demanding 15, we, we or the firms, are only producing 5 units. And we can't sell more units than what we're supplying. It doesn't make sense. So our revenue is that $3 times 5, which is equal to $15. And this illustrates the concept we talked about in the previous lesson. Here, when firms are pricing or they have a price below equilibrium quantity, they're going to raise the quantity they produce, thus raising the price to try to work up here to gain more revenue. Because they know their consumers will be willing and able to buy these goods at a higher price because they're already demanding more than they're supplying. Likewise, when price was way up here, firms will produce less and price lower in order to get closer down to equilibrium, hoping that their customers will demand more goods so they can make more revenue until they hit this sweet spot of equilibrium. And that concludes our lesson on how to find revenue using the supply and demand curves. If you want to learn more about economics, make sure you tune in to our next lesson, and I'll see you there.